Hey, guess who's back? Yep, your favorite SEO, Uncle Lambo. Today I've got an AI writing prompt I've been using for over a year and the strategy I've been using for over five years and even, gosh, before that. It's creating a pricing page. It's so powerful, not only for e-commerce, but definitely for local service and small businesses. People are always looking for the price. They wanna know how much, right? They'll call you. Well, send them to the webpage, let them answer the question, and then get that conversion. Let me show you exactly what I'm doing. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Here is a sample page for a plumber. This is all on costs. Plumbing costs in Boise. You search that right now, it's in the top 10. You search it for their main city, they are number one, and they have the AI overview. Oh, this is exactly what people are looking for. Plumbing costs. We got jump links down to their favorite items. Why are plumbers so expensive? Here's a free estimate. Real prices, common services, and this is exactly what people want to know. And if you're a small business owner and you're cringing, you're like, I don't want to publish my price. You really need to at least give them a range. People just want to at least have an idea of what it's going to cost them. Should they go through insurance? Do they have to pay cash? Do they maybe use a credit card to order your services. These bring so many clicks and so much traffic and it's so powerful. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me just read to you the opening line from the AI chat GPT prompt, okay? This is the actual prompt. This is the output. This is what came back. You ever wake up in the middle of the night, you shuffle to the kitchen for a glass of water and bam, a cockroach scurries across your floor like it pays rent. Oh, I love it. It's like printing money. That will capture the emotion of the human and get them to keep reading more. What I'm gonna show you a sample is in pest control. I'm actually going to make a page, I'll publish it in the next few days, and then we're gonna monitor the results over a week, two weeks, several weeks, and we'll see how this goes, right? Lambo is gonna put his money where his mouth is. Now, one of the first things we wanna do when you search your term, this is really important, the overall AI overview. You're gonna see in here good answers, good information. And notice, these are things that you might want to copy and hold on to um, when you wanna do the extra optimization and put your SEO brain to work. I also have, for $77, a more advanced, detailed video showing you exactly how I manipulate and optimize that page. Pay careful attention to these pages that are ranking based on AI overview. So we have one from Angie's List, Pest Share, um, Ehrlich Pest Control. And if you scroll down the page, we don't, we're not interested in Reddit. Not, this was a local one. It's interesting to maybe click and look at them, but because you're, if I'm local in Boise, it's showing me local information. So um, take a deeper dive, a closer look at certain pages. The one that I decided to go with was actually this one from Pest Share. I really liked a lot of the headlines. I liked the basic information. Um, they did a good job putting it all together. I didn't want it to be overly wordy and I was had the ability to combine uh, additional prompts and use some of my own human writing to finalize the page. So, are you ready? <laughs> what you do is, this is the prompt. And the entire prompt is down below in the description. You can just copy it right from there and drop it in. So. Basically put this into GPT, and I'm using the uh, GPT 4.0 version. Copy that web URL, bam, pest share. And then, this is the primary, primary prompt right here. And let's just go through it, because you can expand and fine tune this if you want. As we know, ChatGPT can be a little fussy. Sometimes you might have to do get some output in, then you redo it, and you fine tune it, whatever, right? But this will get you 85% of the core work done. Audience is frustrated, right? The article is gonna help them. It's a casual writing tone. Write like a conversation with a best friend, like a human. Look at this, you want to have emotions, be creative, engaging content with vivid descriptions and heartfelt storytelling. That's why humans are different and they're better, and that's what you want in your prompt. Be persuasive, be helpful, use simple words. I don't want any of that technical gobbledygook, right? And neither does the customer. They probably on a mobile phone and they just quickly wanna scan and get to the answer they want, right? And then you can give them a link to go right over to the service page or to book your, um, your service or buy that product. Very important here, use second person pronouns. You, your, yours. Write directly to the reader so that they see themselves satisfied. Then. Be sure to use the same or similar keywords from the headlines, right? We want to, that was part of the key. If you put your SEO brain on and 
part of my extra in depth, I have another uh, for sale video. I'll show you even more information, what makes certain pages better than others. And then I'll even show you in your keyword tool, this one's from SEM Rush, how you can leverage certain entities in your headlines and make it stand out. And of course, why this is so important in the prompt. This is unique too. Sentences can start with and, but, however, yet, plus, or, or. Basically conjunctions, right? You want to also write in the active voice where the subject of the sentence carries the action of the verb, all right? Then disrupt the flow asking questions, right? That's exactly what the human is gonna do when they're scrolling down your giant blog, you've gotta be able to be interruptive. And as you design that page, you can bold items, you can put color, uh, you can put other graphics and items, exactly how I did here with this plumbing cost example. Then break grammar rules and a sentence with a preposition, right? That's it, it's as simple as that. I pop that in to my GBT and guess what? It was like printing money. Bzz, 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 come right out of here. So um, verify your actual dollars amount with your customer or you know with your business. Uh, you can of course add more entities, add your inner links, your jump links. But 85% of what I want is right here. Anything that I know is really too uh, automatic writing from the AI monster, I'll go ahead and and clean up. Some of these headlines are just a bit too long, uh, but there are creative ways around that. And making sure that I stay on topic and of course get the right entities in the right places. This is another little uh, pet peeve of mine of ChatGPT. He just loves giving these long bullets. I don't want these long word bullets, but that's it. Everything you need is right there. Hopefully that helps. You get the cost pages out there, you're gonna get the click, you're gonna get the volume, and even better, you're gonna rank in your local city when, of course, you optimize it for that geographic market. You might even get people hundreds of miles away, but they're very interested, they wanna know, and all that traffic is a person who's in market, and that is how you beat Google. If you would like to have the advanced uh, on-page, uh, overview with with me directly um, you know answering your questions and giving you I think it's going to be about a 45 minute classroom um, I'm offering that at a discount at $77 just reach out to me I'll be able to hook you up and you'll even have more of a masterful focus on how to manipulate and build the perfect page so that you can get these kind of clicks and this kind of information and make that kind of money out there for the small business that's it kids have a great day